Hey guys, welcome to Mind Time. Um, I've had too much caffeine and I got too much adrenaline going and I've spent too much money in the last 24 hours. Uh, so I got a lot of action going on and it's making me act a little bit crazy. Um, <laughs> so something exciting is uh, the new rig I want to work on. Um, so I'm looking at doing a RTX 3080 rig. Um, which is pretty cool. So let's first let's look at um, the existing rig I have, which is running a RTX 3060, 3080, and uh, 2070 Super. Um, so I want to look specifically at the 3080 and use this as a bit of a test bench for you know the rig that I want to make. So. Um, this has been running consistently, and in Afterburner, we have the memory set at plus 1,500 and the power limit at 75%. Um, this is giving us 102 mega hashes per second, and uh, drawing, let's wait for it to come up, 254 watts. So it, it's around 254, 255 usually and very consistent power usage and mega hashes. So what I want to do is go ahead and multiply that and create a bigger rig that does that. Now this rig is set up in a case that holds up to 13 GPUs. Um, so I'd like to do 13, but I know sometimes Windows has a little bit of an issue when you get into a high number of GPUs. So I might be capped at 12, but I'd really, really, really like it to be a 13 GPU, 3080 RTX uh, rig, which is pretty cool. Now, if we switch over to uh, what's a mine, and we go and, well, first let's, okay, so we have 13 3080s in here but the what to mine has a lower value than what I have because I've overclocked them. So what I did is I went down here and I put in uh, at 100 mega hashes per second, which is slightly less than we have. So I put 1300 on the conservative side and I put 3400 watts. Uh, 255 times 13 is I believe 3300. However, I wanted to account for the fans and the motherboard CPU, etc. So we put it at 3400. 1300 mega hashes per second. So this currently would produce a profit on a 13 cent electric rate. Let's actually change this to 10. Um, would produce a $64.36 profit per day, which is pretty freaking crazy. Um, and now let's see, $64 times 30 days in a month is $1,900 and, well, ah, right there, $1,920 per month. Pretty freaking cool. That's just profit. That's, and then, um, uh, that's with electricity taken into consideration. Now, granted, Bitcoin prices are pretty darn high. Uh, when we go to Coinbase, we can see that Bitcoin is through the roof, which is great. Um, uh, is it going to stay here? Not exactly sure. But even if this were to half, the returns would still be great. However, there's very heavy investments into Bitcoin by a lot of uh, corporate investors or institutional investors stabilizing the Bitcoin market cap. Um, and although there's some controversy, it seems like people are pretty confident that the Bitcoin price is going to continue to stay pretty high. So uh, that's what's helping me consider investing in this more. Um, so... Like I said, that'll give us, uh, where was it? 1300 mega hashes per second. Um, and, but it certainly comes at quite a price tag. 
Now, um, since the RTX 3000 series has launched, the availability has been very slim, and I'm a very impatient person. So rather than paying the MSRP, which is, let's see here, on a 3080, um, let's see here, from NVIDIA's site, says it should cost $700. I'm paying almost double that for mine, which is crazy. So if I can get some at uh, the actual price, that would be freaking fantastic. But uh, maybe for the next rig. This rig, I've already bought them all. Uh, and they've been in the range of twelve dollars to $1,400 each. Um, <clears throat> anyways, pretty crazy. Really cool stuff. I can't wait till it all gets here. Unfortunately, with the holidays and stuff, it'll probably be delayed a little. But uh, it'll be awfully exciting when it does. So, anyways, this has been mine time. Make sure you subscribe so then you can catch the build video and the results uh, when this gets built in the coming weeks. I'm super excited. I hope you are too. We will see you next time on Mine Time.